Here's another story from Grandpa for my three favorite little girls, Emma, Ayla, and Audrey. Today we have a kind of silly story about Roy the boar, a boar is a wild pig, and Jarvis the groundhog, which is not a pig despite the name, as they fight over a clover patch. Here it is, How to Catch a Clover Thief. Written and illustrated by Elise Parsley. The stems were tall, the leaves were large. Roy couldn't believe his luck. All this clover patch needed were those sweet white blossoms, and then he could gobble up his very favorite snack. They were nearly ready. He just needed to be patient. Don't even think about stealing my patch of clover, Jarvis, said Roy, eyeing his neighbor. Jarvis shook his head. Heavens, I wouldn't think of it, Roy. After all, clover is hard to come by in these woods, and you found it first. It clearly belongs to you. It does, said Roy. Now go away, it's about to bloom. Say, you know what you need, Roy, old buddy? Here, this cookbook will help you plan some new recipes while you wait for those delightful blossoms. The Lucky Chef, How to Cook with Clover. Jarvis hopped off while Roy kept an eye on his clover and read the first recipe, chilled clover soup, and the second recipe, clover salad with steamed acorns. The third recipe called for mulberries and mushrooms. Mm. When Roy returned from his foraging, gasp, his patch was smaller. The next day, Jarvis skipped into the clearing. What's the matter, Roy? Go away, Jarvis. My clover is ready to bloom, but there's a clover thief around here, so I've got to stand guard day and night. My, my, said Jarvis. You know what you're going to need, Roy? A proper campsite. Here, this guidebook will give you all the tips and tricks. Roy resisted. But finally, he picked up the book and pitched a tent and built a campfire. And by the time Roy finished carving out a canoe, crash, his patch was even smaller. The next day, Jarvis peeked into the clearing. Go away, Jarvis, Roy yelled. I'm hungry and I'm mad and I've been staying awake guarding this patch day and night and that's all I will do until I get my clover blossoms. Roy, said Jarvis, do you know what you need? Let me guess, another book? No, Jarvis giggled. Company. Mind if I... Oh, all right, shouted Roy. You're going to love this one, said Jarvis. It's a textbook I've been reading about recent advancements in aerospace engineering. I don't even know what aerospace engineering is, cried Roy. You will soon enough. Listen to this. And Roy listened for a while. Then it was nothing but orbital inclination and nose cones. When Roy awoke, <laughs> that clover was completely eaten up, right down to the nubbins. How can this be? cried Roy. Then he froze and snarled. Wait, where is that gopher? Oh, hi, Roy, Jarvis gulped. Did I hear that your clover is completely gone? That's terrible. Sheesh. And after all you've done to protect it, so... <laughs> What are you going to do? Jarvis, said Roy, I think you know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a book. Jarvis squeaked, oh, thank goodness. I mean, of course, a book. The perfect way to pass the time while your clover grows back. Off you go, Roy. Roy rushed to the library, and while he waited for his clover to grow, Roy read and read and reread and looked up words he didn't know and read some more and roy didn't see jarvis for weeks but when he did the roop shoop 
shoop, shoop, shoop. Crack a crack a crack a crack a crack a boom. Zup. Clunk. Bing. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop. Da dump. Roy was ready. He had just needed the right book. How to Catch a Clover Thief. And that's the end of the story. Do you think Roy really shot Jarvis into space on a rocket? I hope not. It's hard to imagine a boar and a groundhog reading books and building gadgets, but it's pretty to think that they could. And there really is a lot to be learned from books, even if you're just a human. Always remember that Grandpa loves you, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>